Welcome to Show and Tell, a show where we tell you all about people's cool talents and we show you more about them. Sort of like me juggling just there, but today the show's not about me. To kick things off, we are gonna take it to our field reporter, Max, and we are gonna learn a little bit about bowling and someone's great talent about bowling, but we'll kick it to Max now. Thanks, Macy. I'm Max Phil, your show and tell talent scout. We're here at MU Lanes and Games, and we're gonna go check out my friend Louise G's and her amazing bowling skills. Let's check it out. I've been going bowling with Louise every week since she picked up the hobby recently, and I'm really excited to see how she's improved this week. Her passion and determination is really inspiring to me, and I hope it'll inspire all of you show and tell viewers to pursue your own passions as well. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Uh Oh, come on. Oh, no, I meant to hit delete. Oh. Here to bowl bright and early, first bowl of the day. Got to get started as soon as they open. Um, actually, I had to wait till they open. Just, you know, open up already, you know what I mean? funny how I got into bowling actually. I used to avoid it after a disastrous ninth birthday party. Uh, but a few months ago I had a really vivid dream that really changed my life. I was bowling with uh, some of the world's greatest thinkers like Descartes, Lao Tzu, Nietzsche, Al Pacino, and we were just uh, philosophizing and bowling and they taught, they, uh, taught me all these great moves and I just woke up and felt like I could bowl and I can. It's amazing. I love it. My life's changed forever. Okay, so the secret is you want to keep everything aligned. Your elbows, your knees, and your nose. And you aim for, yeah, nose. You aim for the first pin with the light on it there. And yeah, it's all in the nose. Probably the worst bowler I've ever seen, um, but you know they're a really good person, and I just want to support their passion. All right, watch this. So uh, bowling is actually kind of fun. So the first strike happened the same day that Abe Lincoln was assassinated, and that's why they call it a strike. Hey, mom. Oh, I'm just like at the library right now. Uh, they get say, No, I'm not bowling. No, I swear I'm not bowling. I promise. I'm not. Jeez, like. No, I'm not bowling. I swear. I'm at the library. That noise is just construction. They're like adding something to the building. So. I swear. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. I know you don't like it when I bowl. But. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you later. I'll see you tonight. Um, I love you too. Okay. Bye. All right, well, it was great to see your amazing bowling moves, Louise. Thank you so much for being on the show. Do you have any final words? 
Nope, just strike on, baby. All right, uh, and with that, we'll take it back to the studio. Okay, I think I think we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Same time next week. Yeah, for sure. All right, great. See you. Right, see you. Okay, okay, guys, let's, let's, let's wrap it up. Let's go home. Sorry, sorry. Just, no need. Wow, that was some really fantastic bowling. Just mind-blowing to see the passion that really goes into honing the craft. We are going to take a quick break, but then we'll be back with some more fantastic talents. Once again, this is Show and Tell. All right, we go live in five, four, Ready, camera two. And wipe it. Welcome to KBBR TV. Come join our team. Well, audio, man, it's, it's in the air. It's the fluctuations that uh, vibrate our ear holes and make the cochlea sensitive, you know? Um, I just, you can't ignore it. And you try to start measuring it, and it just pulls you in. Well, I used to try to play music on my own, make the sounds from my own hands and instruments. Then I started recording. Upon hearing myself in my recordings, I decided I should just record. When you're a young adult who is serious about pursuing media as a career, or even a side hustle, a lot of people won't take you seriously. OMN is cool because not only will they take you seriously, they'll push you and they'll give you all the tools to really try to do something special with it and let you be creative about it. And so that's what's been special about OMN to me. I'm Sam Lay and I'm a student engineer at Orange Media Network. Welcome back to Show and Tell, a show where we tell you about people's cool talents. Now we're gonna be welcoming a special guest on to teach me a little something about painting and I'm very excited to get going. So let's welcome Tabby on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome. Thanks. So what are we gonna be doing today? So it's up to you. We could paint a strawberry, we could paint a fish or a mountain. Feeling fish, you know? Feeling a little fish action? Yeah, fish action, yeah. All right, so when, good. You, so when I think of fish, I think of gray and sardines. So we're oh, gonna start with some gray. That's really specific. Okay, we're gonna grab some silver. Okay. And then. I thought this okay. was gray. And then we're gonna grab some green. Some green, awesome. Oops, yep, 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 yep. So I want you to start with something very simple. Okay, yeah. A rectangle. A rectangle, got it. A rounded rectangle. Rounded. Okay, just start on here, so I'm gonna start big, so the, so everyone can see it. Great. So it only makes it a little bit. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I think, really dive into the chalky feel of it. Mm. Give it some texture. Yeah, you're... So have you been painting for a long time? <sighs> like 20 years. 20 years, wow. But like, more recently, eight years. More fish, recently, eight? Okay. Fish for the past year. Fish for the past year, you're really focusing in on fish? Oh, brother. Oh. Yes. What do you, what do you like about painting fish? I, there's just a lot of colors, a lot of options. Can I, uh, can I, can you put mine first? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just think fish are very fluid, pretty easy to paint. Mm. 
um, in my opinion. Yeah, you got to quicken up a little bit there. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay, great, great. Because you're falling a bit behind. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll pick up the pace. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, At an angle. Great. At an angle. Okay, okay, what angle would that be? Your angle? Ah. Uh, er, a little, you mm, know. Mm. That's fine. Mine's pretty green. I like, I like it. Okay. Like more green? All right, Yeah, all so... Right. What we're doing now is we're making a sardine tin. I don't know if you've ever heard of one. I don't know if I've ever seen one. Oh. Well, they're going to look like our paintings. I'll tell you that okay, much. Okay, great, great, yeah. So what I'm going to do, finish up. Yeah, I'm, work I'm, wor I'm working on it. All right. I'm going to put some more gray on my palette. More gray. And some blue and white. All right? Great. Have you ever painted a fish before? No. Okay. Get some blue on there. Great. Have you ever seen a fish? I think once. All right. Then maybe, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start painting the fish. Okay. They're gonna look like a knife. Like a, like a knife. Yeah, get some should, blue in there. Should they I, not look like a fish? I'm trying to help you. Okay, Because you said okay. you've never seen one. That's my bad, So yeah. you invite me on here. I'm trying to help my you bad, paint my a bad, fish. My bad, my bad, my bad. You're the professional. You know, I could walk away. You'll never learn how to paint a fish. Fish, uh, I would be really sad. I know. So that hurry would, up. That would ruin my day. Okay. So mix it. Yeah. Add it on there. Maybe yeah. do three. Maybe do three? Okay, and mm -hmm. like a knife. A rounded knife. Like a rounded knife. A stub. A stub? Yeah, you're, yeah, that's looking good. Great, 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 great. Feeling good about it so far. Oh. I like the confidence. Thanks. I think I might, you know, maybe I'll change career paths. I could, I could start painting professionally. That would be an option. I'm not sure if it's for everyone. What do you think my chances are at that? Um, I think so let's get good. some black on the palette. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll get some black. <laughs> let's get some black on there. And I want you to fill in around the fish shape. Around the fish shape. It's called a shadow. So oh, okay, it's great. a pretty art technical term. Art technical term, yeah, got it. Go ahead. Okay, okay. We're on a time crunch here. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I don't want to take up any more of your professional art time yeah. than absolutely necessary. Thank you, God. Okay. Yeah, maybe, f so I want to see no white left on, under your fish. Okay, great, 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 yeah, yeah. That's actually rule number one of fish painting. Rule number one of fish painting? Yeah. I thought rule number one would be make it look like a fish. No. No? No. No? Okay. So you invite me here to teach you how to paint fish. I'm going to teach you how to paint fish. And it's... So listen. Okay, yeah, yeah. I I'm listening. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead of you because you're pretty slow. Okay. So for the people at I'll home who up. might I'll be painting, up. be a little bit faster. So... <laughs> I'm going to draw a little rounded triangle. Great, a rounded triangle. That's connecting the tin. Great, now what might that be called? <laughs> a spindle. A spindle. Is that the professional term? Yes. Mm. I think this is going really well so far. I'm, like, pretty proud of this. Mm. Triangle. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's add some white onto our palette. Some white, okay, great. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your triangle more rounded. More rounded, And okay, have a great. hole in the middle. Okay, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a triangle, that. and I didn't say to fill it in. Oh, oh my, that was my bad. Yeah. I thought you meant a filled in triangle. No. No, okay. So I'm gonna start adding the eyes. Mm, the Just eyes. Just a little dot, because sardines have eyes. Hmm, I didn't know that about sardines. It's exciting. It's how they look at each other. Uh, so are you like really big into fish? Um, you can paint yeah. them instead for about a year. So I'd say they're, I'm their number one fan. Wow, you're really just blending it on there. Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay, so add the eyes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll work on the eyes now. I'm just gonna finish. So, riding the eyes. Um, 
How do you, how much do you think I could sell this for potentially? What do you sell your art for? So mine would be a quick thousand. Quick thousand, really? You yeah, for, for something, living? for something like this, you know, for you, I think it's really good practice. Hmm. I don't know, you're not seeing like my gallery potential. Um, do you guys, you know, I think you could put it like up on, on a refrigerator, a little magnet for inspiration for the future. Mm. For me to continue to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a really good starting. Yeah. So add some gills because they got to breathe. They do have to breathe. You're so right. And I'm going to just keep making mine. Mm -hmm. And For I would sure. appreciate it if you stopped looking at mine, actually. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh. So stop looking at mine. Okay. okay. Do your own thing, actually. So I'm going to do a bit of a background. Stop background. looking at mine. All right. My bad. My bad. I don't, so is it, is it sort of like, do artists not look at each other's work? Is that like very No, that's actually anti? copying. It's copying? Oh, my bad. That's the technical term is it's copying. copying and that's lame. So, mm. so yeah. Are we going to add any more details to the fish? I feel like mine could really use I something think yours a little more could. expressive. Yeah, I think you could add some. Yeah, what, kind of, what would you suggest? Make it look uh, um, fish-like. It's fish-like, yeah. How would you? How do you think that I could make it look more fish-like? Just paint it. Just finish it. Just finish it. Oh, okay. Okay. I was just like looking for some guidance. I know you're a professional. Have you taught before? You know, I've taught five-year-olds, and I think this is—it's bringing me back. It's bringing you back. Mhm. Mm no, I don't know. I, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. I Maybe know. add a little mouth. Oh, a little mouth. That was a great suggestion. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's not where the mouth... We're, we're, we're blending together, you know? Okay. Yeah, we're blending. So what color are you grabbing there? Gray. Why? To continue to blend. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm just going to add my signature because I'm actually done. You're done? You're painting this really quickly. That's because I've painted fish before. <laughs> do you think? Do you think that you need any more details on there? No. Or, no. So stop looking at mine. Oh. oh Keep oh, doing oh yours. Okay. I'm gonna add polka dots because I have extra time because I painted quickly. <laughs> Look at that expert brushmanship. Yeah, you really seem like you really know your way around the paintbrush. I'm very impressed. I've painted before. Hmm. Did you go to like painting school or like? Uh, no. Because it's pure natural talent, raw talent. I came out of the womb painting. Painting, wow. Paintbrush in hand. So maybe that's why I'm so fast. So, yeah, fast and good. So maybe like in 20 years you could keep up. But oh, okay. for now, this is really good practice. I like the mouth placement <laughs> that you They're chose. They're smiling actually, if okay. you haven't noticed. Now I believe you when I say when you said you've never seen a fish before. I don't You're know. I think this is really accurate. I think that they they look really good. Okay. What you doing? Uh, blending the tin. Isn't that like an art word? We're blending. Yeah, I really appreciate your harsh brush strokes. <laughs> I think they add texture. Mm. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we add some, our signatures, finish it Ooh, off? Our signature, yeah, we're, I think we're getting close to our time here, but we can add a little bit of a signature. Yes, yeah, so just write it on there real quick. So people know who, which one's mine. Oh, for sure, yeah. And do you have any final words of wisdom for people who wanna paint, like me? I think I'm gonna maybe pursue this professionally after this. So for people like you, I would say, keep that inside. Inside. And maybe focus on your major. All right. Any, any, any maybe more inspirational tips or is that just, just keep it inside? This could be a hobby for you. A hobby? Yeah. Great, yeah. I've been looking, looking for a new hobby. You found it. Fantastic, that was so great. Well, let's, let's, let's all admire the fish, the sardines today that we made. Very exciting. So, and I think I really learned a lot today about um, painting fish and what a fish is. That was exciting, big day for me.
proud of you. Yeah, I know. Really, really exciting. It's really good. And yeah, I think that we are going to just wrap it up here. Thank you so much to our professional painter, Tabby. Any final words of wisdom? Keep practicing. Keep practicing. Those are our final words of wisdom today. Yeah. All right, fantastic. And that was, that was our painting segment. Thank you so much for coming on, Tabby. Thanks for having me. So we are going to begin to move on now to a quick break. Once again, this you are watching Show and Tell, a place where we show you cool talents, and we'll come, we're gonna have a break, and then we'll come back with some more talents to show to y'all. One thing I really love about my job is I get to work with a lot of different people and have a lot of fun with them. Oh man, the bullpen, it's honestly my second home. It's always like something's going on here, it's always music playing, but same time it's like that one big family feel here. So yeah, that's what the bullpen means to me. It's a place where we like to foster a lot of our community, where you get to know people really well, a place to hang out. What I like about Omen in general is just like, it's just like the community aspect. It's just such a fun place to work. I always like to say it's the best job on campus. It's like the one place like where like, you could be like radio, work for a magazine publication, you can do everything and like it's kind of accepted and normalized, so yeah. It's just so much fun. I can't stress that enough. Why not work here? It's, it's a really cool place to be. Welcome back to Show and Tell, a show where we show you people's cool talents and we tell you all about them. We just had some fun learning how to paint, but now we are going to learn how to cook. We're gonna throw it to our field reporter, Max, and they're gonna tell us all about cooking and show us off someone with a great talent. Hope y'all enjoy it. Thanks, Macy. Today we're here with my good friend, Chef Tup. He's the cookiest cook I know. Oh, stop. We're actually baking today, but, um. These cookies are a great option for those vegetarians out there who want like a meatless option. Um, you need flour. And the reason you use flour is um, on the ingredient list, it has a whole bunch of words on it and the first thing on it is actually flour. Oh, and how much flour are we uh, using? About like four cups. One. Four cups? Yeah, four cups. Four C-U-P-S. Okay. And these are for? Decoration? Or is this all purpose? Um, purpose. Yes. So all purpose flour actually has a lot of purpose in it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. There's no, we're all friends here. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to be nervous. Sugar. Uh -huh. Sugar's great. Um, some people put it in their coffee. Yeah. I personally like to put it in my baked goods. Yeah. And how but, much you know, sugar? I love to do it. Well, we've got like four cups. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can kind of eyeball it though. So we'll probably like add the rest later or something, or is that? Now that we have most of our dry ingredients in. Yeah. What's next? We gotta get the butter in there. So. <sighs> Obviously. In my back pocket, I've Whoa. actually been keep keeping the butter. Okay. Sorry, butter fingers. It's slippery, right? Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So let me... Um, right, and is that in the the lint on it? Is that, um, no, is that necessary not, for... Yeah, that's the texture. 
but the cookies hit, like when you bite into it, it kind of gives it like a little crunch on the outside, but the inside's still chewy. Oh, yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Um, that's lint. What about like four to five what, slivers? Butter, this is butter. Um, oh, so you want about that much, maybe a little bit more, but I like to keep mine a little bit light on the butter side, you right, know, otherwise yeah. they get too buttery. Yeah, you, you know, know we're, we're not making butter that. cookies here. <laughs> Making no, sugar not. cookies. No, we are not. So we're going to mix it All up. All right. That's it? Well, no, you got to like mix it up a little. Right. That's all the ingredients? Let's get mixing, huh? All right. So Let's do it. you're going to just want to like really just get in there. Um, right. And do just... we wash our hands? Yeah, of course. And then you just mix it all around. Just getting it all, all good and... Um, get it all mixed oh. in there. Yeah. All right, so next step, it's really important. You want to take about half of your um, batter. Half? Yeah, about half. Now we're ready to blend this up, you know, blend it. get it all aerated Let's and good. It. Okay. Yeah. So I was actually going to... Yeah. Um, so I was actually going to ask you how you came up with this recipe. So was it like, is this sort of like a recipe that's been in your family? Because I know your family cooks a lot. You Sorry, know? what was the question? Um, how you came up with the with the recipe? Oh, when I was um, back at uh, culinary school, uh -huh. my instructor um, was really into this thing called um, so um, you want to take your batter now, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have it be in even. Sort of evenly sized um, cookie right. shapes. So they all bake evenly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. We're on the same page. Um, and now I know I like to use about like three or four um, metric tons per cookie. Okay. Or, you know, 15 fluid ounces. Yeah. About the same thing. So you just want to make sure they're like good, even cookies. Right. Can I help no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, um, sorry. It's okay. Um, let's just pop this bad boy up and get him. Get them cooking. Let's get it rolling. Yeah. So um, you want to just make sure it's in the middle rack. And then we're going to cook these for about four or five. And then they should be good. Four or five. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do you have like a bathroom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just down the hall. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Oh, this should be done. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Um, let's just grab this out real quick. Oh my God. Wow. It always works. Chef Tup's method, guys. Oh my God. It's the best. You wanna try one? I'd love to, they're yeah. They're not that hot. You know, I, they're, you know, here. You know what, cheers. Oh, cheers, Tup. All right, well, thank you so much for being on the show, Chef Of Chuck. course, I had so much fun. I'm glad you could be here. Me too. You know, join me for the process. It's so great to learn about your process. Um, yes, I had a great time, and I'm going to throw it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah. Well, that's been our show, Show and Tell, where we show you people's cool talents, and we tell you all about them. Today, we learned how to paint. We learned how to bowl. We learned how to bake, and it was all a really fun and great time, and I hope you all felt like you learned a lot today. Thank you so much for watching.